Hello everyone, today I'm doing a video um, based on one of my previous video and I'm trying to answer a question by uh, Sharif here. So he's asking how do we do this with a bubble chart? Um, so I'm going to show you a solution that I found. Um, I don't think it's a perfect solution, but I'll show you what I have. So as a recap, um, this is a video that's showing you how to use Excel to do, do a full quadrant matrix chart. So you can see that the dots will be um, all over the place in the four dimensions and um, it's a scatter chart. So let's see if um, we want to do a three dimension chart, which means that the bubbles like like the dots will essentially have shape that presents different um, a different criteria and how do we do that um, so okay so let's start so originally uh, we only have two dimensions um, in this um, in this story I'm, I'm not gonna go into too much of the background if you want to know more background you can always check um, the previous video but then in this one let's say we have three dimensions now so the first one is a um, well all, um, it's showing all the different uh, executives the titles um, the title of, uh, vice presidents um, the first dimension is their salary in thousands the second one is their comparison ratio, which is essentially comparing their salary to the salary range. Uh, and the third dimension that I added is the team headcount. So it's basically let's assume that um, the size of the bubble represents the number of people in their respective team. So let's do let's try to do the bubble chart. So to do that, you basically select the full table, and then go to insert. Um, this time instead of a scatter chart, um, let's choose a bubble chart. So you can choose um, uh, a more simple one or a more fancy one. So I I just um, think like this fancy one better. Uh, so let's try with this. So the uh, once you select it, you're gonna have something like this, but it's okay. We're gonna fix it. So right click and then go select data and then now you can tell that you have all the different titles selected it's okay just remove remove all of them so now it's all blank now you go back to add so when you have adding here it's going to ask you the serial name so let's say the serial name is executive or anything else that you want to put um, x value let's use the salary as the x value and let's select all the values here for the Y, let's select the comparison. And then for the bubble size, which is the search that mentioned, let's select the team headcount. So yeah, so once you select, then this is how it looks and then click OK. Um, and this is pretty much how it looks. Um, and then let's say if we want to make it um, the same dimension as what we had there, then basically we just adjust our um, uh, access so the minimum we had was um, I think it was 10% was it 10% so uh, X, uh, yeah, you know, let me just copy this for oh yeah it's here okay so now let's adjust the access to make it identical so the f um, the X axis is starts with a hundred and then maximum is two sixty. Uh, and then okay, and then for the y axis, uh, we want it to run from five fifty percent to one thirty. Okay, yeah. So this is how it's looking like, and then. Yeah, it's close enough to what we want to show here. So now the next step that we want to do is to show the titles. So to do that, first you select your data, um, your data, and then you go add data label. So add data label. So when you first add data label, just by default, it's gonna show you the Y value, but that's not what you wanna show. So select your data and then go uh, format data label. And then here is the data option, uh, label options, and this is where you select your label. So let's say we don't want to show our y value. Uh, instead, uh, instead, uh, 
or you know it's probably easier if we do it uh, the other way so let's go format and then let's select value from cell so it's gonna ask pop up ask you the data range and then we want to select the title so let's go select the title so now you have the title um, but let's say we don't want the vi value instead we want the bubble size which is the team headcount and then that's how you can show both the um, your title and the team headcount and then you close it and then you can format it to make it larger um, and you can also change the position of it so it, now it's to the right of your bubble but i can make it just to the center of it as well okay so now we have um, basically the bubbles and now we need to add the axis so this is where I have to say I did not find the perfect solution I was hoping to do it in the same way as we did it for the four quadrant max matrix but then I realized that um, in my Excel 2013 um, it actually does not allow the combo chart type uh, within the bubble chart so basically we have to work around to create uh, those access and to do that it's just something like um, insert your um, insert a line with the uh, and then you can now you have the grid line so uh, you can just make your grid line aligned with your uh, with your sh uh, line and then you can just make it perfectly overlap just like that and then you can select your grid line so now you see I select my grid line and I go delete I go delete and then I wanna add the border to my uh, to my plot area and then now you will basically have uh, a shape uh, have a border and then you have the line that's sorry that um the lines that's making the four quadrants of matrix so that's my workaround to create this four quadrant matrix chart with bubble charts with 3d effects um it's not as perfect as i desire but it still looks good um, and it definitely works for charts for powerpoints um, and any purpose um, that you need so i hope this is still helpful to you and uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment for you for me and uh, thank you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you like it if you have any question please leave me a comment and i will talk to you very soon